is Eva Heard. Today we're stepping into the magic of six classic Disney tales with the Minecraft Disney Worlds of Adventure DLC. We'll be exploring the world of Aladdin, Snow White, The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Alice in Wonderland, and The Lion King. Let's get started. Ooh, we have entered Disney's Worlds of Adventure. Whoa, we're in this fancy garden. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, what is that? Hello, oh hi, this is Somnia. Oh, how odd, a visitor. Seems you found this little refuge. It's been a while since anyone else has shown up. It's quite exciting. I'm sure you feel the same, but anyway, you must be wondering about all this. Lucky for you, you're speaking to me, Somnia. What I lack in a weakness, I make up for in with knowledge. To fill you in, this is the Dream Pavilion, and it can lead you to all sorts of magical places. You may or may not have seen them before. I hear they sometimes appear in our most treasured dreams. The Dream Pavilion itself is a place of connections and records. From here, you can always see what's happening. You just need to know where to look. However, if there's anything else you need to know, don't huh, hesitate to ask. <laughs> all right, thank you, Somnia. Oh, hmm? oh yeah, these are portals, interesting. So I guess we can go through these, if we have enough. I guess if we have a key. Uh, this is a record book of dreams. Okay, good to know. Can I read more about that? I don't know why the text goes away so fast. Um, in addition to the pavilion and the side rooms, this realm will do something. <laughs> I don't know why the text goes away so fast. But uh, gem shards, they're like fragments of dreams. Whoa. Okay, so I guess we have to look around the world to find these. Gotcha, so we could probably pull this up and read some more, but uh, this is the gem wand. It will get you back here to the dream pavilion whenever you need it. It also has other functionalities, but it needs to be powered up first. With it comes a handy map. And this is the crystal compass. It's a peculiar device with many different powers, but it runs on gem shards. So you'll need to collect some first before you can use any of them. That should be it. Do you take care out there, but I'm sure you can handle it. All right, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. So we have this cool map here. We have the quest log and the gem wand. Uh, do you want to return to the hub? No, I'm good. So that will help us return home. And also the crystal compass. Hmm? Oh yeah, these are the portals. Okay, yeah, we can see that right here. Um, these are the portals that can lead you to your dreams. Each portal represents a different world. You must only step through to enter. So we have like the, the uh, Snow White world over here, Little Mermaid. Lion King, oh, these are so cool. And there's also more of the pavilion to explore. Whoa, look at this Alice in Wonderland little teacup situation, I think. That looks like it to me, at the least. Interesting, I like this a lot. Whoa, so many cool details. So I think we shouldn't waste too much time, right? We should probably just hop right into the world and see what we can discover. So I guess for our first key, it's right up here. So if I jump up on the hedges, boom, that's a portal key. You'll need it to open up the portals, okay. But be careful, it only works once, so you better think hard about which world to open first. All right, well, out of all of this selection, I think my personal favorite would have to be the Lion King, but I would love to hear out of all six of these worlds, which Disney world is your favorite? All right, I'm gonna go into to Lion King right over here. Do you wanna use the portal key to unlock the world of the Lion King? Yes, I do. <laughs> all right, here we are at the Savannah, home sweet home for me. I fit in just fine around here. <laughs> All right, so I guess we get to explore this area and we have uh, some friends here. Hi, so this is Nala, of course. Simba, look, who's that? Whoa, is that some kind of ostrich? Oh, um, hi there. Ask them if they're an ostrich. No, I'm a zebra. Uh, don't mind him, but hey, you look like you're nice. Do you want to play with us? Yeah, I know where we can go. Come on. Where? It better not be the water hole again. No, it's not. Uncle Scar told me about it. Like he told you about the elephant graveyard and how we almost got eaten by hyenas? Oh no. This is different. No one said it's forbidden. I don't know. Maybe we should ask Zazu? Ugh, fine. Let's go to Pride Rock first then. You coming, new friend? Yes, I am. I think we can find Simba at Pride Rock. 
Okay, so Pride Rock should be this thing straight ahead, right? So we'll follow the path here and we find our first little crystal here, one out of a hundred to find. And look at that, we got some zebras. I don't blend it entirely, but whoa, that's so cool. All right, well, I'm, I'm pleased already. I'm already happy with this DLC. We got to see some zebras. So some distant family members, maybe. All right, let's go over here and grab another crystal. And then I, I don't wanna you know, dilly-dally too much looking for the crystals. We'll find them over time. But for right now, let's go pa talk to uh, Simba and Nala over here. Uh, hi, Nala. Simba was pretty brave at the elephant graveyard, but he still can't pin me when we wrestle. All right, this is our home, Pride Rock, and I'm gonna be the king someday. Let's hurry up and find Zazu. Where could he be? Huh, Zazu, I don't quite see him around here but maybe at the top of Pride Rock? We'll try to climb up over here and see what we can find. It's a good view if not anything else. I think I see him up there. And he's not alone either. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of people around here. Hi. I can't just talk to anybody. It looks like only the people with the speech bubble are the ones I can chat with, but whoa, what is this? You've collected one collectible out of five in this world. What was the collectible though? Not quite sure. Um, Very interesting for sure. And then we'll go up here, and I guess we'll talk to you first. Of course, this is uh, Mufasa. Hi. Can I not? Here we go. A king's time as ruler rises and falls like the sun. One day, the sun will set on my time here, and will rise from my son as the new king. I guess so. Uh, hi, Zazu. Your majesty, look. I've never seen a creature like this around here. I've, there was a bunch of zebras right across the path over there. I don't look that different. Neither have I, Zazu, but they don't look like trouble. Hello, I'm Mufasa. Welcome to the Pride Lands. I must ask, did my son bring you here? He has a knack for surprises. Speaking of your son, sire, I'd better have a look at what he and Nala are up to. I don't have a good feeling about it. You never do, Zazu. All right, I think we can find Simba outside Pride Rock on the path to the jungle. So I guess we'll follow them, whatever that might be. So the path to the jungle, and this is a great view of everything. I think the jungle, like that jungle? I guess so. So we'll head out there and see if we can't run into uh, Simba. But we can always pull up the map too, and I guess it'll tell us just about where we're supposed to go. I don't know if I'm supposed to ah, fall off from here. I didn't take any damage though, that's okay. Let's go back over here, take a look at our map. And yeah, it wants me to take a right down here. We got it, so we'll keep following the path until we run into our friends again. Excellent. I do see that. This, this is getting me really distracted. I wanna get the big blue one. Do these count as multiple, or maybe this is its own collectible? Cut three gems nearby before they disappear again. Whoa, it's like a challenge. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this one, and then, where's the third one? Uh, right here behind the bush. There you go, I found it. You collected all hidden gems nearby. And there's some giraffes over here too. Awesome. Okay, so we'll go catch up with you over here. Hi, Nala. Simba was pretty brave at the elephant graveyard, but he still can't pin me when we rest. Okay, she's just saying the same thing again. Uh, what about Zazu? Simba's uncle Scar is rather difficult. I always say there's one in every family. Two in mine, actually. And then Simba. There you are, Zazu. Can we go to the jungle, please? The jungle? Don't be ridiculous. Do you have any idea how dangerous that would be? It's outside the Pride Lands. But Uncle Scar said there's nothing a lion would have to be afraid of there. A crone lion, perhaps, but a cub? I'm not so sure. Come on, Zazu, it'll be fun. Besides, what, what could happen while you're with us? I'm really not. Hey, don't you dare run off. Come back. Sire, you're here. Simba, Nala, where do you think you're going? I told you leaving the Pride Lands would be dangerous. And you tried to drag Zazu along with you? I, I, I'm sorry, Dad. I just thought it'd be fun. It's the only jungle. Or it's only the jungle. Simba, you're too young, and someday you will be king. That is a very big responsibility, requiring you to be responsible. I know, Dad. I'm really sorry. Well, I'm glad I caught you before anyone was hurt. Now, we're going home. Sorry we can't show you the jungle. I bet it's really cool. We can't show them, but maybe they can tell us what it's like. What do you mean? Think about it. They're not forbidden from leaving the Pride Lands. They could go there and tell us about it. Oh yeah, then we'll know how fun it'll be when we get get there. Of course, that'll be a long time when we're grown. <laughs> Then it's a plan. Will you go to the jungle and s on a scouting mission for us? You will? Awesome. We can't wait to hear your report. All right, so I think we can find Timon in the jungle. Sure. 
I've been practicing my pouncing. Yesterday, I snuck up on my mom and she never even heard me coming. <laughs> cool. Zazu keeps going on about Nala and I being betrothed. I can't marry her. She's my best friend. <laughs> the buzz from the bees is that the leopards are in a bit of a spot and, oh, there was trouble at the water hole. I told the elephants to forget it, but they can't. Oh no. <laughs> and then we got uh, Mufasa. A king's time as ruler rises and falls like the sun. One day the sun will set on my time here and will rise for my son as the new king. All right, cool to catch up with everybody, but we want to keep moving on to outside of the Pride Lands so that we can meet Timon. I don't see Timon right at the moment, but this seems to be the path on the way. And I did see over here, I think this is where the hyenas are, and we also have Scar. Oh no. Hi, Scar. I wonder if my brother, when my brother will next descend from on high to mingle with the commoners. Oh no. <laughs> All right, well, I do see some more gems to grab. I might as well go out of my way to get those too. Got the elephants roaming around too. This is so cool. So I wonder how big each area is gonna be. So far, it's like a whole thing to explore, which is pretty nice. Uh, we'll get up here, try to grab some of those. Okay, I was able to get that one from underneath. There's another one, 13 out of 100. I see another one in this tree too, which, there we go, I grabbed this by jumping by it, perfect. So if we head over here, whoa, we got more creatures and the like. Um, we can see our main goal, Timon is up there on the map somewhere, so we'll just have to go into the jungle and see if we can't find him. I'm seeing even more of those crystals out this way. I don't know if we'll end up collecting every single crystal, but I'll try to grab the ones I do see along the adventure, even though some of these are pretty far out there, so might take me some time, because I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go at all. Very weird that these are just sort of doing that. But I can find all the wild gems. I think this will, you guys see, assist Sim Simba and Nala, find all the collectibles, explore all areas. There's a lot to do here, and find the hidden hyenas, which we haven't seen any of yet so far. Which, maybe eventually at some point the game will tell me where the crystals are, that'd be pretty useful. But, um, get yeah, the crystal compass. Maybe this will just tell me. Right now, it's not really, it's just sort of spinning around like crazy. But, uh, yeah, for right now, I'll just keep the map up as we explore over this way. It is becoming nighttime now, so it might be a little bit more dangerous as we explore through. But we're in the jungle. It's gonna follow this path for now. And maybe over here, oh, I see him! All right, what's going on, everybody? We got Timon and Pumbaa over here. Hi, Timon. Well, I'll just say the word when you're ready. Pumbaa and I are up for grub catching anytime. What's going on? Whoa, it's like a game. Okay, hi, Pumbaa. Hey, Timon, come here. I found a, huh, I don't know. You think it's a really juicy grub? I'm not a grub. Pumba, are you nuts? That's obviously a, a big two-legged aardvark. An aardvark? Yeah, and everyone knows aardvarks only eat bugs, so they're not dangerous. Come on, let's approach, slowly. Okay, help be quiet. Burp, <laughs> sorry. <sighs> and they've spotted us. Wow, they look really brave and strong. Oh, Timon, you don't think. Shh, if this is really the protector we were hoping for, we can't be too obvious. First, we make friends. With games? Exactly. <clears throat> Say, brave warrior, might you be up for some friendly competition? You wanna catch some grubs? Yeah, sure. Uh, What do you say, are you in? Uh, what are the instructions? All right, contestants, here are the rules. All participants can search this part of the jungle to catch as many grubs as they can find, but grubs can be tricky. They can hide underneath logs, shrubs, and bunches of other stuff, I guess. Whoa, okay, there are the grubs. Got it, good. Dinner and dessert, here we come. So I might wanna pull that up just to be sure, but um, they may hide underneath logs and shrubs, so you'll need to rustle them out. Don't forget the juiciest grubs are worth more points, and whoever gets the most points, um, We'll get it, is the timer going down? It is, okay. Uh, okay, I just gotta find the grubs, but they're already finding them. Timon and Pumbaa already have four of them, so I'm gonna have to catch up here. I get plus two there, here's another. Then I see you over here, where do you think you're going? Oh, there's a lot of them over here. Grab that little worm and the beetle. Another worm. <laughs> we're earning up points now, we're catching up a little bit. It's two versus one here, doesn't feel super fair, but I can grab that one. <laughs> this is so cute. I get plus five here and there. And don't forget, over this way. Got it, we are definitely in the lead right now. They're describing all their their grubs. Oh no, gotta beat you there, gotta beat you there, ready, and boom, got it. Over here, there's a couple more, I see Timon now. Come on, come on. 
Got it. Plus five right there. That was pretty good. We're at 57 points, but they're not too far behind. Whoa, there we go. I just got a bunch of them. And time up right at the end. I can't believe it, Pumba. We got out grubbed by the rookie. <laughs> yes, he did. So our total score is 67. And because of that, we get a key. Whoa, nice. So I guess we'll talk to these two again. Well, just say the word when you're ready. Pumba and I are ready are up for grub crouching anytime. So I guess like there's even higher scores we can get. We got 67, but it can go all the way through 130. I think I'm good for now. What do you say? You wanna grab some more grubs? Uh, I think I'm good for now. What else do we have to do now that we've done that? I guess we can maybe go back. I don't know if I was supposed to do more here in the jungle, but you know, meeting Timon and Pumbaa was a pretty cool experience for sure. If I go back over here though, this seems like a new path, right? Was this the way we came in? It might have been. Um, but I do have a portal key that I can use to get to other places throughout the Disney worlds. But, oh yeah, this is the giant log they would ju or walk across, I guess. I don't really jump across it. I remember this. That's so cool. I love the little, you know, detailed references we have to the movie. So we'll head over this way for now, just because we haven't been down this path. Out of curiosity. But, uh, let's see. Anything else going on down here? I'm sure there might be more collectibles or something like that. Here's another one across the log. Maybe if I go up here, we might be able to find something. I still don't really know what this does. Okay, I do see something way off in that direction, so maybe we can get to that now. That'd be great. But we might need to do a perilous jump. What is going on here? I can sense gem shards beyond this gap. Hmm? If only you could jump such a distance. I'm guessing I can't. Whoa, no I can't! Ah. All right, well, it was worth a try, right? Um, Now I've fallen all the way down to the bottom of the, the river. I'll have to find my way back up. So unfortunately, I still couldn't make that jump, and it looks like there's no other quest for these guys to do, so I think that's actually it technically, but there's still more things we can do here. We can find all the gems, assist in the Nile, we already did, but we can find all the collectibles, explore all areas, and find the hyena. So I figure we'll always explore each area, and over here you can see a very big, I think it's called a boobab tree, baobab? I guess we'll find out as we walk up to it. But right over here, we'll get started with this. Yeah, the Baobab tree, and we can go inside. Oh, that's so cool. So I wonder if Rafiki will be in here? Maybe. Of course, there's just more of the Lion King world to explore here. Here you are. Hello, Rafiki. The weather is very peculiar, don't you think? I guess so. So we'll go ahead and pick up an item here. You collected two out of the five collectible treasures. It's sort of a shame it doesn't really tell me exactly what it is, but yeah, we got the treasure right there. I got a couple more collectible um, gems around here in the tree that we'll go ahead and try to grab like this one right here, or the 35 of them. Oh no, oh, fall down of the tree. Hold on, boom, got that one. It's not as easy to run around another tree when you're not a monkey. Oh, and I see a couple more up here. See, I need that super jump again, which unfortunately, it seems like I don't have. Like, what if I were to click it or anything? Yeah, I don't think I quite have it. So, I'll have to come back with more abilities later on to be able to actually get everything. And that's okay. We don't have to worry about it too much. Instead, I wanna explore all the area. So we talked to Scar a little bit here at the hyena area before. I don't know if there's too much more to do there, so I wanna chat with him again. Um, and then we'll continue looking around. Okay, but we do have this key that is ready, you know, to be used to explore other worlds whenever we want to. So I guess that really does mean that we sort of, you know, did everything we really can. This is the elephant graveyard. Oh, so scary. Um. There's a lot going on here, but look at you. You're probably one of the hidden hyenas. So let's go and try to run up to them. They're glowing blue, so they're not the most hidden thing I've ever seen, but <laughs> that's okay. We'll try to jump up here and then catch up to you. Whoa, what is this? I'm not quite sure, but it's our third collectible. And I'll go and talk to you. There we go. You have one hidden items out of the five in this world. One of the hidden hyenas. I see another one way over there, so that shouldn't be too hard to get to. What is going on with that? There's a green thing over there too. Very curious. I wanna find the hyena first, and speaking of which, there's a couple over there to talk to as well. There's a lot to do here, it's great. Uh, we will jump up here, just like that, and I will grab you. So we've got the two out of the five hyenas. I don't see any others hidden around here but I'm sure we'll stumble across them pretty soon. I figure for now we'll hop down here. And I, want, I want to figure out what that is, that glowing green symbol. And what about you three? Uh, this is Shenzi. Well, well, Bonsai, what have we got here? 
I don't know, Shenzi, but I'd say it's trespassers. Whoa, whoa, wait, we'd love you to stick around for dinner. Yeah, and maybe we could get those little lion cubs we saw to join us if they're lying around. Wait, 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 I got one, I got one. Make mine a cub sandwich. What do you think? <laughs> I think I'm hungry. All this talk of food is, has me starving. Ooh, me too. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Dinner, oh no, are they gonna eat us? Please leave me alone. What is going on with this? Oh my. So this button, I definitely feel mysterious gem energy from it. If the crystal compass had a way of shooting its energy, we could activate it, which, whoa. Oh, do I have to, is that what I was supposed to use the entire time, was this thing? Oh, okay, I see how it works. So if I were to wait for it to restore, yeah, that gives me like a super jump. Interesting, so maybe I can actually use that. I understand now. Whoa, okay, I'll definitely have to use that to jump some gaps later and maybe find some more hidden collectibles. There was one in the jungle for sure that we'll go and find later then. I didn't realize that that's what it was saying. Okay, so I can't quite do anything with that just yet, but maybe if I unlock new stuff later on, it'll help me out. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm seeing all these crystals anywhere, everywhere. I'm not really seeing any of the hidden hyenas anymore though. Here we go, ooh, big jump there. Gets a couple more crystals for me. Huh. Let's see, if I go back over this way, any hyenas waiting? Hiding around a little bit? We still have three more left to find, so hopefully we can find them soon. Oh, I found another one right over here. They are super well hidden, so maybe we'll just leave it at three out of five for right now, and we can come back later. But with the key, I think we're really good to just sort of start exploring some other spots, so. Um, I wanna just see whatever's left for the Lion King world, and then maybe we can come back later and find more stuff in depth, but we have other Disney worlds to explore, so I don't wanna waste too much time. Uh, so yeah, find all the collectibles, we'll leave that for now, but explore all areas. There should be one more off in the other direction. So we'll keep using this stuff to launch ourselves over, and I think it was over this way. If we take a look at the map, there's certainly something waiting for us over there. I'm very curious. Oh yeah, this is like the big, uh, ravine thing, yeah, for sure. So if I head down here, whoa, we have entered a whole new area where there's another hidden hyena, so they aren't just in the one area. Okay, so I'll go say hello to you. Hi, our fourth one. And then, whoa, scary jumps as we go into the gorge and find another item. Okay, let me definitely grab that then, right here. Four out of the five collectibles. So we know where the last one is, actually. It's just I have, to, I have to make that jungle jump. So maybe we'll do that in just a moment, but but that is all six of the areas discovered. So can we make this perilous jump to get the last item? Here we go. Whoa, yes we can. All right, that's great. We get one more gem there. And then right up here, our final little item is a little critter bug to collect. You've collected five collectibles out of the five in this world. So that is amazing. I'm glad we could find all those. I think with that, we will head back home. We'll return to the hub and we'll see how, what's going on. Hi there, back so soon? I'm sure there's more to explore for you. There definitely is. So that was the Lion King world. We still have plenty more worlds to discover, starting with one over here. This, of course, is the Little Mermaid world. So let's hop into this one. Do you want to use the portal key to unlock the world of the Little Mermaid? Sure, let's go for it. Whoa, so here we are, the Aquatic Kingdom. I guess we'll talk to Flounder first. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And of course, Ariel. We're not far from Ursula's lair. She's the sea witch. I've heard a lot of scary stories about her. Well, that's scary indeed. Then we of course have Sebastian. Hmm? Oh no, absolutely not. Just turn yourself around and go. Under no circumstances are you to meet Ariel. Not when you're wearing those human clothes. I'm not wearing any human clothes. Sebastian! Don't be, don't be mean. I think our new friend looks wonderful. That's really human clothing, isn't it? Ariel, what are you doing? You know your father, King Triton, forbids anything to do with humans. What about zebras? I guess they haven't really seen a zebra before either. I mean, closest thing they have is a seahorse. Oh, Sebastian, they seem perfectly safe and very friendly and almost magical. Besides, they can't be human. How could they breathe in the water? I'm sorry, Sebastian. Sorry, I'm sorry. Sebastian can be protective, but you have to tell me everything you know about humans. Have you been on land? Have you met them? Oh, please come with me so I can hear it all. No, Ariel. <sighs> Fine, just don't tell your father. Come on, I'll show you the castle first. It's this way. All right, so I think we can find Ariel outside the palace. Sure. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Hi, Flounder. 
And it looks like we have more crystals to find. We're swimming around in here. I have pants on. Whoa, no, I, I have uh, shoes. Interesting, I didn't equip those. They were just on automatically. Very neat. So we have to swim around over here and just try to find as many of these crystals as we can, as we explore. And I guess, yeah, if we take a look at the map, really gives us a good idea of everything. So cool, so pretty. So, um, yeah, where exactly are we going? I guess we can dive down this way too. That might be a good idea if we want to find all these crystals, because these crystals are what unlock more things as we've now entered Atlantica. But if you, you, you can see here, we can left click this and we can get our crystal compass menu. The deep gem is what we'll find here. And I don't know quite what it does. Uh, activate to break little rocks. So that could be pretty useful at some point. I'll get over here, get our fifth one, and try to continue to swim. Uh, go down this way. As many gems as we can find so that we can unlock that new ability is what we need. Whoa, there's a big snail over here too. So cool. Okay, I'll get a little bit closer to this with the little starfish as well. There's so much experience here in Atlantica. Okay. And there's Ariel waving over to us. I'm almost there, don't worry guys, I'm a slow swimmer. I'm still getting used to it, that's not what I wanted. Oh boy. There we go. So we'll talk to these two first. Hi Flounder. Sure, I like going exploring with Ariel. It's uh, it's fun, yeah. I just wish it wasn't so scary sometimes. This is where I live with my sisters and my father, King Triton. And there's my best friend, Fal Flounder. Hi, it's nice to meet you. See, he's very nice and he doesn't yell like, <laughs> I'm just doing my job. Oh no, I thought that was a laugh. Eh, eh, eh. I'm just doing my job. The king commanded that I look after you. I know, Sebastian, but you won't tell him anything, will you? Oh, I have a wonderful idea. Let's all go to the reef and look for treasure. Will you join us? Sure. We can meet there, it's just around the corner. Wait, Ariel, uh, are you sure? Isn't that where shipwre the shipwrecks are? And the sh sharks? Oh no, the sharks. I do wish Ariel would get her head out of the clouds and back in the water where it belongs. Still, she seems happier dreaming. Okay, well I guess we'll follow them over here. I think uh, Somnia said I think we can find Ariel at the shipwreck. Okay. So we'll head over there. Oh no, in this direction. Gotcha. Oh, I see her over there. See, so yeah, we'll swim over as fast as I can. It's a little slow. There we go, we're, we're picking up some pace. Hi everybody, and there's another mini game here. Okay, so are you ready to start? Not quite yet. All right, maybe the, the light will be better in a little while. Okay, I'll talk to you though. Wait, Ariel, okay. <laughs> Flatter just does the same things a lot. Okay, so we'll just talk to Ariel and get started with this. Yeah, yeah, I just love searching for human things. Oh look, I can see something shining in the shipwrecks. Whoa, there are all sorts of treasures around here. I guess we have to find all those. Human artifacts in the shipwrecks. So just like with the bug hatching, but you have to look really hard. Sometimes they are hidden in the tiniest nooks and crannies. If you're ready, let's go search together. All right, sounds like a plan. So I'll start swimming around and, and looking for them. Treasure diving. Okay, I'll grab this one, collect treasure by swimming close to it. Different treasures are worth more points. Collect as many as you can. I definitely will. So, looks like we have, oh, is this just an item? Cool, we found one collectible over here out of five, and then there's normal treasure here too to find. So, all sorts of things to get up to. Uh, I'm not seeing any other treasures down this way by the, the lava. Oh boy. Um, maybe down here, I do see one. I do see one, I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and scoop that, plus one. They are much harder to find than the bugs were. <laughs> Treasure is not as abundant as bugs, what do you know? Um, maybe over here? I'm not seeing too much. Okay, here's a little bit of something appended on the floor. Grab that, another little timekeeper thing. There we go. Hourglass is what's called. <laughs> and oh, a nice little statue or candle holder or something. All right, more in the belly of the ship here. Got ourselves a little serving dish. This is great, but uh, can we get out of here yet? Oh no, <laughs> Flounder is still concerned. Okay, I'm at the 34 points. We're about halfway through our time. There's gotta be some more stuff around here. I do see some right over here. Ready and boom, got it. And this stuff over here, over 40 points now. We're making a lot of stuff happen. Oh, here's one, here's one. I don't know if things start to reappear over time. I'm really just supposed to find every object. I don't think I've been to the top of it. Oh, okay, <laughs> under the sea. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. Got it. And a little bit more over here. We're doing pretty good. Oh yeah, so much, so much. And what else? 
I don't know how far out I can go here. I'm not really seeing too many other treasures to find, so I think we might have found the most of it. So that's pretty good, over 60 points too, so we definitely didn't do bad. Have they been in that part of the ship? I'm pretty sure I have. So I really don't see anything else to grab here. And time's up, so I think we did pretty good though. I guess we'll find out with Ariel in a moment. Uh, total score, 62, nice. So yeah, let's talk to you two then. Um, Wait, Ariel, okay, <laughs> they just say the same things again and again. Uh, did he have fun? Oh, that was so much fun. Just look at all the amazing treasures we found. These will go perfectly in my collection. They'll we'll have to ask Scuttle what some of them are. Or maybe, do you know? I'm sure there are even more treasures to find. If you want to go searching again, just let me know. All right, will do. So that was the main quest here for Ariel's World, but we can explore more of Atlantica and some of the other stuff too. So um, yeah, there's five explorable areas and five collectibles to find. We've already seen two of the areas and one of the collectibles. So if we go inside of here, this should be, I think, Atlantis, right? Maybe we go inside of the actual palace or something. Oh, and there's Triton and all the daughters as well. Um, hi, Triton. King Triton, Atlantica Palace. Hmm. I have seen you before. New to Atlantica, are you? Well, I hope you enjoy your time with us. All right, well, nice to meet you. I'm just looking around as much as I can because there's a collectible right up here. We get the crown. Wow, I hope they don't miss this. Uh, can I pick it up? I don't know if I can. <laughs> it's not quite working. Hold on. There we go, I got it, somehow. Very cool. So usually each area has one collectible, so now that we have discovered that, maybe we can make our way up to somewhere else. Um. The only problem is it's a little hard to tell like which way might be a new area, but I'm sure that like maybe this spot over here might be something. So I'm just gonna swim over, and it looks like there might be another shipwreck over here according to the map. Whoa. So that might be the other thing here. We have um, find a hidden jellyfish, and I do see one floating around right over here. So we definitely wanna do that. And I still need to get enough gems to get the new ability, right? If I take the deep gem, um, collect more deep gems in Atlantica to unlock Echo will do. So let me also grab the jellyfish if possible. There we go. I collected one hidden jellyfish. And anything else going on around here? There's gotta be something, right? I'd imagine. Maybe more down that way. I mean, this seems to just be like a random coral reef. Oh, the treasure, or not the treasure, but the, the, um, the ship is way up at the surface. Can I swim up to that, I wonder? Oh, here's another jellyfish too, so I'll definitely just run into you one way or another. There we go, I've collected the second hidden jellyfish. I'm just gonna continue swimming upwards for the time being and see what else we discover way up here. Cause that ship has me super curious. That's gotta be something. So we just gotta swim, swim, swim all the way up there until we find something new. But it's good to know that there's, you know, so much, I guess, like height to it all to explore. Okay, I'm almost there. And I think I, I can climb up onto the ship. That's so cool. All right, we're definitely gonna take a look at what's going on. There we go, we're at the ship. So I can climb up this, and whoa, hello. What's going on here? We got ourselves another gem. I can talk to you, this is Grimsby. Ah, yes, Prince Eric. This sea weather is simply ah, delightful. Glad they're having a fun time. Oh, hey, uh, can I talk to you? Let me, oh, and here's the item. Nice, so we get a little telescope out of this one. That's very cool. And this is a scuttle. Oh, hey there, a merfolk, huh? Well, if you're interested in human stuff, you're in luck, because I'm an expert on anything human. <laughs> All right, thank you, scuttle. We'll hop up here, maybe, or maybe I gotta go back the other way. Uh, There we go. And yeah, there's more people on the ship to talk to. We found the one hidden item, so after we chat with them, I think we'll be good to hop back in. This is, of course, Prince Eric. Isn't this great, Grimsby? The salty sea air, the wind blowing in your face, a perfect day to be at sea. All right, I'm gonna grab some more stuff out over here, just a couple more of these gems. And that deep blue, you must have unlocked the glimmering echo. Do watch out, it can't hurt living beings, but it's very destructive nonetheless, and sure to break any brittle rock. So we can actually switch over to that now if I go here and go to deep gem. Um, this, you can see the blue gem on the top, and Whoa, I don't quite know what that'll do for us for now, but we're good with the ship. I think we can move out of here, back into the depths of the water, and see what else there is to find. There's gotta be more stuff around here somewhere, because we've already found four out of the five explorable areas. The area we started with, though, I didn't really do too much there, so maybe that's what we should head back to for now. Whoa, it looks like I might have found some kind of hidden cave down here. 
Okay, look at this right here. You can see this might be some brittle rock we can break. So, um, was that working? Whoa, look at this little secret room. That's awesome. So we found three more gems for our troubles by doing that. That's fantastic. So whenever we see this symbol, it'll tell us when we can break stuff open and find some secrets. That's great. I don't see too much else over in this direction, but there's gotta be more at the least hidden uh, jellyfish around somewhere, just floating around, I can only imagine. I think I see one right over there, so we'll try to catch up to that. And also take a look at my map to make sure there's nothing else to grab, but I think we're good. So this is our third hidden jellyfish. There we go, I gotcha. And we're still also looking for two more collectibles. Somewhere around here. Maybe I'll find them, maybe I won't. I mean, here's hoping I am able to discover them. But what is this area then? I just see another gem down this way, which I guess we don't need to find as much now that we've discovered the uh, the ability. Hmm. Oh, this is a spooky cave, right? Not too much in it though, okay. I was expecting, I'm guessing Ursula's lair, or whatever it might be called, would be somewhere in this level. That's what I'm searching for right now. We're going pretty far out. We're almost back at the pirate ship that we collected everything. But I guess, yeah, Flounder's still over here. Whoa, there's something bubbling up over this way. That has me curious. This looks real spooky. Whoa, could this be it? Ursula's lair? It might just be. We'll take a look around and find out, but I got that right there. It looks like there might be something down that way too, so we'll have to explore around this whole area. Okay, got myself some more pieces right there. Ursula's lair, we found it. And there is another jellyfish flying around over that way. So I guess we'll just try to find Ursula now and chat with her. Oh no, oh my, <laughs> so spooky. All right, and there she is. Hi Ursula. The palace is celebrating again, is it? Bah, in my day we had fantastical feats and now look at me, banished and exiled and practically starving while Triton and his, fam and his flimsy fish folks celebrate. Oh no, she's not happy. Let's go ahead and grab another collectible here. We found four out of the five of them. I don't know where the last one is, but I'll try to look around for it. Hopefully we can find it soon. If not, I might just leave it for some other time but I know that there was a jellyfish out that way, so I guess we'll at least find that, and then we've also discovered all five areas here. As long as we've seen like everything there is to see in each world, I'm pretty happy with that for the most part. Let's go ahead and get this jellyfish right over here, and, oh, almost, almost. Did that work? You gotta get like under it for some reason. It's really down here too, there we go. That's four out of the five hidden jellyfish. Okay, so it looks like maybe behind the portal, I've certainly found something. If this is not it, then I really don't know where it could be. So let's hope. Oh, it looks like it's another one of these gems thing, things, which is good, I guess, you know, to get more gems, but I was hoping for the final hidden treasure. I've looked all over and I just couldn't quite find it. So I think that's okay. We will just head out with what we've done. We did quite a lot, so let's head back to the hub and open up a whole new area to explore. So that was, of course, Lion King, The Little Mermaid, and next up is over here, Snow White. Do you want to use this portal key to unlock the world of Snow White? Of course I do. Whoa, so we're in the forest now. This is nice and peaceful, and here's Snow White with all of her little forest critters. Oh, hello, my name's Snow White. You're not here for mischief, are you? No, I don't think you are. I can see that you are very kind. Thank you. My friends and I are going to collect flowers in the forest. Would you like to come with us? It would be delightful to have your company. If you do want to join us, I'll be up ahead, in the flower meadow. You'll be sure to see it. It's very pretty. Okay, sure. I think we can find Snow White in the forest down to the right of the castle. Sure, so now we got the little peaceful area of the Snow White world. I definitely like this one. All right, we'll grab that. We have a lot more gems to find, but whoa, look at this one. I'll need the green one. This button, I definitely feel mysterious gem energy from it. So if we find enough of these green crystals, we might be able to do that one now. This is a nice little cottage too. Can I go inside? Yes, I can. Oh, hello, the dwarves, they're all here. Hi. Have you met all my friends yet? They've been so kind to me. They even let me stay with them when I had no other place to go. All right, so we have a uh, Sneezy. Hope you don't have any pollen on you. I gotta be careful because of my hay fever. <laughs> we have a uh, Happy. Happy, that's me. It sure is nice to meet you. 
I forget what does this little bird. Uh, is there anybody else in this one? I guess not. Uh, let's head back out then. Got a little collectible treasure right there. And this is Sleepy. <sighs> Good morning. Dopey, doesn't say much. Uh, Doc, oh, hello my friend. Have you met the, the, the mint, the, the nince prince? What, that, what does that say? Uh, the princess? Uh, the princess? Something like that. Got grumpy. You better not be here to hurt the princess. I'll be watching you. I won't. Don't worry. We got bashful. Gee, the princess is nice. All right, so there we go. I talked to them all now. I hope everyone enjoyed the, our flower game. I know I had a lovely time. We pulled the map. I guess this isn't exactly where we're supposed to go. Um, Did I go the wrong way? I mean, the castle's up here. So I think it's up here. Maybe that's not a castle I see in the distance. It's a little dark out. Decided to make our visit during the nighttime, which may, maybe is not the best. Okay, yeah, right up here. I see now. So if we see the castle in the distance, if we take a right, we might be able to find it. I feel like I'm sort of going into a big circle, but that's okay. I'll hop over here and, oh, who's this? The Huntsman. But where the queen? Her aims are wicked. Not good. So there's the castle. Instead of going there, I'm taking a bit of a detour over this direction then. Okay. And if we take a look at this, I have found, I've actually not explored any of the areas yet. Gotcha. And there's Snow White. Okay, so we'll do that for sure. Hello. So talk to you really quickly, Snow White. Oh, there you are. We were just about to begin. Would you like to help us collect flowers? We always have so much fun when we do. Oh, that makes me very happy. I'll explain all you need to know in just a moment. Sure. Listen, everyone, let's make a game of collecting flowers. The flower forest, whoa. Okay. So we're just looking around for flowers. Blue flowers will be worth the most, then pink, then yellow. So blue three, pink two, yellow one. And then the bundles, five of them. Okay. Oh, and mushrooms won't do at all. They wouldn't look very nice. Okay, so no mushroom collecting. Got it. Is everyone ready? Let's try and collect as many flowers as we can. All right, I'm on the lookout for flowers. So is everybody else. I see that big basket. We definitely wanna get that for some extra points. And go. So I'll jump over there. Grab it, don't grab that mushroom over there. This is a turtle over here. Uh, there's a pink one. We're moving so quick too. These flowers don't count for some reason. Uh, another mushroom. Grab the blue one for sure. That was a plus three. Oh no, not the mushroom, not the, I almost grabbed it. Uh, here's another big bundle, which the bundles also give us a speed boost, which will help us find more soon. Uh, and I did see one way over here. Got it. Another plus five. The pink one, yellow one right over there. I see another basket. I'll move over there as soon as I can. Yeah, there's so much to do here. Got it, got it. Earning quite a lot of points straight away too, which is nice. I see some more flowers on this side. It's so peaceful, I love it. Oh, and here's another one. Ready, got it. There's another basket, let's try to get that before time runs out, it's almost done. Boom, got it, just at the last moment, we get another basket. That was great, we got 54 points. So we'll talk to you again. We got our key for that. What's that, you want to collect more flowers? Oh, that would be fun, let's go join the others. No, thank you for now. But uh, that was great. Yeah, we were able to explore around and get all the flowers we needed. But does this count like as an area or what? Because it still says that we have explored all areas. We've we at least found one of them then. Okay, cool. And we can sort of just try to continue following these paths until we find the rest of the areas. I do want to get at least enough gems to unlock the ability and of course find whatever treasures we can along the way. But I feel like I'm sort of getting a little lost here. I don't want to get lost in the forest. That's a little scary. Uh, maybe I could just jump right back over. No, that's not working. Oh no. Okay, I don't think there's actually anything more on that side, so now might be a great time to go back and explore the castle. I'm very curious about that for sure. And you can see there's even a little village there too, so there might be a lot to find. So we gotta go back by the Huntsman, and then I do wanna climb that to get another gem. I probably need, I think it was 35 of them to get the new ability, so I get that, we're up to 19. Pretty cool. And then right down here. Who is this by the bridge, I wonder? Hi there. This is the prince. Traveler, have you seen a fair maiden near here? I fear she may be lost in the woods. Oh no. 
Well, we have met her, I'm pretty sure, but she didn't seem lost. She seemed, seemed pretty happy to be where she was. So we'll grab a couple more gems as we enter the castle village. Interesting. So maybe there's a couple of buildings we can enter. Uh, most of them are locked up. What about this one? Uh, same deal. Okay, so once again, if I can find enough gems, I might be able to unlock something over there. But what's going on down here? Whoa, we found the item. Cool, so this is just a little hat. Two out of the five in this world. We'll go back up the staircase though and continue our search for more stuff. So, what do we got going on around here? Are all of these doors locked? So far it seems to be the case. Yeah. I got another gem I can grab here. This one I think will lead to others. Yeah, I need to find three gems. This one right here. And then uh, one up at this door. Where's the last one? Right over by the other door. Come on, come on. Did I get it? Uh, uh, I think I ran out of time. Maybe. No, no, I think I got it. Okay, cool. <laughs> so there's that. We'll head up this way and see if we can't find anything more as we get a little closer to the castle. It's a big castle too. Quite the staircase we need to run up to get to it. And look at the view that we get at the top, whoa. Quite the beautiful view. So let's go inside of the castle and uh, see if anybody's home. Okay, I've activated the compass's radiant story. Got you. A radiant scry, I thought it was a story. Radiant scry, that's especially useful um, since it will tell you where to find more gems. Listen to it blink, it'll change the closer you are to its fuel. Interesting. So that's good to know. So I can pull this up and I guess it'll make noises when I'm closer to gems now. But we've made our way into the castle. And is anybody home? I guess not. But maybe behind it I have another gem to find. And there's plenty of other rooms to explore onto. We got this little courtyard area with a garden and a well. Ooh, nothing going on down that way. It's just a peaceful little garden back here. Was expecting more people to be around in a giant castle like this, but so far it's pretty peaceful around here. Hmm. Okay, see more gems up there that I might try to grab later. But for now, I'm just trying to see if there's anybody to chat with. I mean, we saw the prince before, but where's the king or queen? All right, go back in. We did a full lap around the castle. I don't think I went, did I go down here? I'm not quite sure. Oh, it's spooky down here. Whoa, it just gets deeper and deeper. What are we gonna find at the bottom? It goes down for a while too, whoa. Oh yeah, it is really spooky. There's a bunch of cobwebs and everything. And whoa, I collected one hidden, hidden item. It was like a pickaxe. What's going on with this? Huh, doesn't look like, whoa, that brought me somewhere else. Where am I now? Whoa, okay. We're like outside of the castle. So interesting. Yeah, we're right back out here where I think the village is. Gotcha. Was not expecting that. So that was three out of the six explorable areas. Maybe there was more to get up to around there. We'll have to look around later, but I figured there's a whole forest in this direction we've yet to see. This is the haunted forest, oh no. What will we find around here then? Oh, that was one of the lost pickaxes I found, by the way. That was not actually one of the hidden items. Gotcha. So, there we go, we got 35 of these. I'm still trying to find more to get the blue gem upgrade. Whoa, we got the buzzards? Scary. They're sort of hanging out for the time being, but I'll go over here. And definitely grab that gem. They are looking at me, I don't like it. Trying to find out if I'm friend or food. I think they might be thinking of more food. We got some more gems we can grab over here, especially if I grab this blue one. This should allow us to find three of them somewhere. Okay, I see one here across the lily pad. And then where's the last one? Uh, good question. I don't see it anywhere. Uh oh. Um, huh. Where did it get off to? I'm not quite sure. All right, well, maybe at some other point we'll find it. <laughs> For right now. I gotta get over here. And I think we've made our way full circle back to that other little village house where all the dwarves were. 
Isn't it? Huh, I figured there would be more around here. Okay, maybe down this way we'll find a little bit more. Okay, here we go. That's another one of the hidden pickaxes. So definitely happy to grab that. And then we'll try to make this jump. I might need the help of the wild gem to get across like that. Whoa, super jumping over. That was great. But I don't see too much more to do. Maybe, whoa, going on this side. But there's not really much to do around here, it seems. So yeah, maybe I didn't need to actually get over here. So I think we actually collected enough of the gems that I can open this up. Uh, did that work? Oh, do I have to stand here? Um, that's definitely doing something. How does this work? This button, I definitely feel mysterious gem energy from it. If the crimple, cr crystal compass had a way of shooting its energy, we could activate it. I don't know. That's so odd. Um. Oh, you know what? That just tells us, I see. That just tells us where the nearby gems are. That's not the right one. So if we can look around for this other one. Heavy boxes, deep riddle rocks, mysterious buttons. I guess this is what we're looking for? It didn't work. Uh, Clutch more mystery gems in Wonderland. So maybe I'm not in the right area for that. I thought I was, but no, this one, I see. So that's for a different area. So I guess with that being said, it doesn't seem like there's too much more I can find in that direction. I'll try to go back up here, just to make sure if there's any other areas left to explore that I find them. And then I guess we'll make our way somewhere else. It's back to being nighttime, but we definitely haven't been up here yet. So if we take a look at the map, maybe we'll find something new. Whoa, I can see the clouds in the distance but not too much over there to do. Okay, quite the view up here too. All right, we'll keep it moving. And more of this stuff. This is uh, one of the rocks I can break. So I do have the ability to do this one. We go to the deep gem and I go like this, hi -yah! And whoa, we're in the cave. This is cool. I'll grab one there. And does this count as an area to find? It says four out of six now, so I'd hope so. And there is a hidden little item here. Awesome, but it's not the hidden pickaxe. It's just another type of pickaxe. Interesting. Very cool little crystal mine to find. And then here's the hidden pickaxe. Very nice, three out of five of those. The cottage is what we just found. Okay, so that's nice. That's five out of the six areas. I'm not sure where the last one is, but I can go back over here, break open another one and find another cave. What will this one have? We're gonna make a bit of a jump here to get over onto this side. And look at this, we found yet another one. And it looks like there's more stuff to find up there. How do I get up there is the question. Um, maybe from here. Gonna do some crazy jumping, but I can jump across like that. And then, whoa. And then to make this jump, I just need to get the wild gem again, fly over, and we're good. Okay, so I think that's about it for this area. And we have found all six out of the, or six out of six explorable areas. So I probably wanna leave it at that then, and we will head back home so we can explore another area. This one was pretty cool though. So let's return to the hub. That was half of them done so far. We still have three more to go. Um, and we'll start with this next one, which this one of course is Alice in Wonderland. Do you want to use this portal key to unlock the world of Alice? Yes, I do. Whoa, we're falling down the rabbit hole. We made it. So this is one of the most, Colorful areas we've been to so far. There's a door within a door. Uh, whoa, whoa, uh, whoa. Where am I going? <laughs> I think I made it. What is going on? Oh, this is like the the one collectible. I think that like would shrink Alice down, and then we'd be able to go through the tiny door. The doorknob. Ooh, what can I do for you? Don't say you've taken a wrong turn. It was rather good. What doorknob turn? <laughs> well, now I'm sure you want to go through. I guess I do. Whoa, so we've shrunken down. And there's a little rabbit, the white rabbit. Oh no, must go. Goodbye, hello, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. All right, are you gonna run off? I guess not. Um, Well, I'm gonna run off. I'm also late, I, gotta, I got places to be. <laughs> Let's go over here. Got a couple of gems to collect somewhere, maybe. Oh no, that, okay, I thought that was one of those ones that activate more of them. And uh, hello. 
Lots of curious creatures around here. We're in Meadow Forest. Okay. And I guess that would bring us back home if we wanted to, but I think we're good where we are. Uh, what does the sign say? I don't know. We'll get up here. Whoa, big jumps, big jumps. Oh, whoa, couldn't quite make it. Oh no. I could try that again. I don't know if there's anything else up there besides the crystals, but just trying to find whatever I can around here since we're in the meadow forest. Haven't quite seen Alice just yet though. Ah, oh, couldn't quite make the jump, but I still got the crystal, so I'll take it, I'll take it. We take a look at the map, it'll tell us exactly where we need to go, right? I mean, was I supposed to do more with the rabbit? I, I guess? It makes it seem like there is. Let me go and double check. Uh, little white rabbit, where'd you go? Are you still over here? Was I supposed to do something to make you run off? Uh, don't, don't just do something, stand there. Can't you see I'm late? I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Uh, don't just do something, stand there. Can't you see I'm late? Okay, so I guess I just have to help in some way. I just don't know how yet. Maybe if we go and catch with Alice, that would give us a better idea of what we're supposed to do. So we'll try to find her. If we follow this path, the music is getting super exciting. It looks like I need to take a left over here. Okay, and there's more crystals waiting for us in this direction too, so it seems pretty fitting. The signs are pointing everywhere. This is not very helpful. Um, yeah, I'll go over here, grab that one. The Cheshire's cat's tree. Oh, there, there he is. Hello. Lose something? If it's the way you've lost, it really doesn't matter which way you go. But of course, the castle is that way. Unless it's, that's not what you're hoping to find. Have you met the queen? Oh, but you must. And since you're on your way, you will. Always here, you see, are the queen's ways. Huh, whoa, where'd you go? Okay, so they ran off. Oh, here you are. Uh, hi. Have you met the queen? Oh, but you must, and since you're here, you're on your way. Okay, so they're saying the same thing again. Well, I guess we're about to meet the queen, for better or for worse. Whoa, the big hearts. Got some other crystals here. I don't have that box pushing ability, so I'll have to leave that for later. Oh, and there they are. With the giant chair and everything. Uh. Okay, the castle, do we got all these playing cards we could talk to? Uh, the queen mustn't see any roses that are not red. If she does, one of us will surely lose our head. Okay, so they all said the same thing. Hello. The queen mustn't see any roses that are not red, okay. Hi, queen. Um, I can't really reach you from here, but uh, I do see Alice over here. Hi, Alice. Is there any way up there? Whoa, here's the hidden treasure. One hit of mine out of the five of this world. So I guess that might be the hidden dream last and their little present here. White roses painted red? Who's responsible for this? Uh-oh. Let's get out of here. I don't think it was us, but I don't want us to get blamed. Hi, Alice, how are you? Hello, I'm Alice. I do hope you're someone who is sensical. Ever since I arrived here, so much has been nonsense. Oh, but you do seem as though you are what you are rather than being not what you're not. Perhaps you might help me. I fear I may have angered the queen. You see, she sent her playing card guards to chase me through this maze. Would you help me find a way out? Sure. Oh, thank you. Quick, we must find an exit. So we have to collect paint. And then what do we do with the paint? Paint the roses to unlock the path. Whoa, so white roses need to be made into red roses. Avoid the card soldier. Oh no. I'll do what I can. Go to the end to win. All right, so three, two, one, and we're going. Whew, the music, sort of scary. Uh, I found some red paint right over here, and I think yeah, there's a rose over this way. So I can just go ahead and paint this like that. Awesome. Grab this one and go over here. Come on, go, 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 go. Uh. Our time is going up, luckily, not down. But I need to find another bucket of paint. Ah, oh, that's a guard! Run away, run away! He's chasing me! <laughs> okay, going this way instead. Um, Is this the right way? Okay, here's the paint bucket. Maybe if I run down in this direction. Uh, there's another paint bucket. I don't know if I can like double them up like that, but we're gonna find out! No, he's chasing me around this corner too. Not good, not good. I haven't been down this way yet, and that makes sense because there's a white rose over here, so I can just do that. And I painted both of them, excuse me, sorry, uh, not good. I need to find more paint because it didn't really, okay. 
Uh, maybe this way? Gotta watch out for those soldiers. This is getting really confusing. I see another soldier over there, but I'm not seeing any paint buckets. Oh no, I'm running into a bunch of white roses and no paint. What am I to do? Uh, I can't go that way, those soldiers. They are closing in on me. This is so scary. But it's okay, we'll find a way through. I got some paint. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> and right over here, okay. A passage opens. That's exactly what I was looking for. And we made it! Hooray! All right, we got a score of 99. Not too bad. Would you like to help me find a way out? I already did. Please do hurry, I may not have much time. So there we go, we made our way through. We got 99. That was pretty cool, but there's still more of the Alice world to discover, so I think we will just keep running around. Hopefully we can discover something, but uh, as long as we got the key, I'm pretty happy. But we've explored four out of the six areas already. We found one of the hidden dream lusts, and we found two of the collectibles, so still can't do that one. But if there are um, other gems to find, I should definitely try that. So we're going back into the Cheshire, Cheshire Cats Forest for now. There was another gem over here, wasn't there? Uh, yes, there was. Okay, so happy to grab that. And then a couple more in the water across the lily pads. Oh, I need to jump, make some perilous lily pad jumping happen. There we go. And then one over here. And then I did see the, uh, the dream dust over here. Got it. So that's two out of five for that. And we're just gonna keep running. But take a look at the map. Oh, hey, Alice is over here now. Alice wasn't over here before. Hi. Oh, Cheshire Cat, do, do stay here when I can see you, won't you? The song you were singing, Cheshire Cat, what a, is a slithy tove exactly? I'm very curious. Will they say anything about that? You must have enjoyed the Mad Hatter's tea party. Most do, you know. I actually haven't been there yet. That's the last place I think I'm trying to get to, right? Something like that. Guess we'll discover it soon enough, but for right now I just have to head this way. And it looks like it'll be right around the corner over here. So I sort of missed it before, but got all these giant flowers, this is so cool. I do see a crystal over this way I wanna grab. Actually, a bunch of them. So am I still heading the right way? There's not even a uh, path here. Or at least not on the map. Whoa, we're definitely getting somewhere. Okay, the flower garden. Awesome. A lot of really tall flowers around here. Not too much going on over this way, but in this direction, Got a couple more of these gems to find. Got it. And what about over here? It just keeps going and going, doesn't it? Okay, three nearby gems, I gotta find them. One over here. The last gem is probably this one. Got it, we have, we're up to 42 already. And I think that's everything for this way. So if I were to pull up the mystery gem, Whoa, it fires a little thing. So I think that's for pressing buttons. So if we see the opportunity again, we should definitely take it. But if I take a look at my map, I've still yet to find the tea party. That's gotta be somewhere, the Mad Hatter, right? Oh, here's another little hidden collectible. I think I found it, okay. Or maybe not. Um, Here's this, and hey, there's plenty of people to talk to. Hi, Alice, <laughs> how are you? The flowers here talk, but they aren't very welcoming. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised the flowers sing beautifully, now should I? Hi there. Mm-hmm, la! Oh, please don't interrupt me while I'm practicing my singing. <laughs> Have you perhaps come to learn something from us? I doubt it'll be worth our time. Oh no. Okay, so, how about you? My roots must be dried up. I can't seem to hit the high note properly today. Lots of flowers to talk to. Do, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. All right. And they're all just practicing their singing over here. I'll grab that gem and talk to you. Hmm, la, oh, please don't interrupt me. Okay, so they're all saying the same thing. I think that's it for this little forest. And then we can make our way out of here and still once again try to find the Mad Hatter's tea party. It's the one place I haven't discovered, but it's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, okay, I don't know if I found it the way I was supposed to, but I did discover the tea party. I'm a little lost at the moment, though. Okay, over here, ah, I see. So I was just supposed to come up from a different path, but we've made it to the tea party right over here, and there is already another little um dream dust over this way, so might as well grab that. That's four to five of them. And what's going on with the rest of this? Oh, hey, here's the big tea party. So I'll grab that and talk to you. 
Everyone here insists that I must stay for tea, but it is terribly difficult to take even one sip. This is the most nonsensical tea party I've ever been to in all my life. Huh. So we'll talk to everybody who's here if we can. Um, see this little rabbit over this way? This is uh, the, the March Hare. If you're invited, then you must have a cup of tea. And then here's the Mad Hatter. Oh, what a delightful child. I'm so excited you must have a cup of tea. And oh my, clean up, clean up. Move down, move down. All right. Can I actually get a cup of tea? There's a lot of tea to choose from, but none of it I can quite grab. Anyways, I do want to try this. Does that work? Oh, the bun's over there. Okay, I hit it. Hidden gems nearby are revealed. Oh, that's so useful. So, yeah, I found some hidden gems that way. That's always good. And can I go inside the little room? I cannot. So with that being said, we got quite a lot found here and we found all of the areas, which is mostly what I was worried about. So I think with that, we will head out of the Alice in Wonderland area and go to the next one. Our second to last one is right over here. We have the key for it and this is Aladdin. One of my favorites for sure. Do you want to use this portal key to unlock the world of Aladdin? Of course I do. And here we are in the desert. Whoa. So I guess we'll talk to um you over here. Hi, so we have Jasmine. Hello, you look a little lost. I hope you're all right. You are? Thank goodness. Well, welcome to Agrabah. My name's Jasmine. Hmm, you haven't seen a man named Aladdin around here, have you? He's, well, he's a very good friend of mine. Oh, I hope he isn't in, in any sort of trouble. Carp and I can't find him anywhere. The magic carpet troops down, sadly. Aw, oh. well, we've searched every spot I can think of. If you'd like, carpet, and I could show you around Agrabah. While we do, please keep an eye out for that handsome young man with dark hair and a sheepish smile. Let's start in the marketplace. It's just over there. Sure. And we'll also talk to Magic Carpet. The Magic Carpet droops down sadly. Aw, oh, poor carpet. So we're off to find uh, Jasmine somewhere else. Whoa, look at this place. So this is great. We can pull up the map and see for ourselves. Um, where we're supposed to go. We'll go into Agraba first, but then search these other areas after, like that, for sure. Looks amazing. Such a beautiful city. Let me head into some of these little things over here and grab that for all of 100. I guess I missed one somehow. Uh, maybe we'll come back to get it at some point. But now that we're heading inside of Agraba, maybe there's some people to talk to. Hi. Got all the market stalls and stuff like that. I think, yeah, Jasmine is straight ahead. Some other merchants, a shopkeeper. Hmm? What are you staring at my apples for? Sorry, sorry. Magic carpet is still so, so sad. Uh, hi, Jasmine. The marketplace has wonderful things for sale. Delicious food, beautiful fabrics, and... Hey, you, scoundrel! Did you just steal that apple? Of course not. We were only take talking. That scoundrel probably ate them already. No one steals from my cart. Thief! I promise you're not a thief. Won't you take the word of your princess? Princess? I might be new in Agrabah, but I know a princess wouldn't hang around the city for no reason. Now, you and your friend better pay up. I'm afraid the merchant doesn't recognize me, and he doesn't seem to want to change his mind. We need to go quickly. Aladdin used to live nearby. We can go there. Carpet, please help our new friend. I already know the way. Sure. Ride on the magic carpet to escape the angry shopkeepers. Okay. You will need to steer in the right direction to avoid obstacles. Uh-oh, this seems intense. Reach the end to win. I'll do what I can. So this is a super exciting carpet ride. We're racing, whoa, this is so cool. Let's go. All right, the guards will arrive in 86 seconds. I gotta move it, so take the little speed boost where I can. I think that's what these are. And really start to build up the speed for it. This is so great. I love it. So now we're properly in Agrabah. I'll take this turn. Oh, I think around here. Come on, go, go, go. Gotta follow those arrows up the stairs through the markets. Whoa, look at us floating in the sky. That's awesome. All right, come on, we only have a little bit more time left. A minute remaining before the guards show up. I gotta take a tight turn here. Oh man. Not super familiar with the layout of Agrabah, so it's a little bit to get used to, to zoom through it like this. Come on, come on. Another big turn over here. Going up. And then, oh, I think this is it, this is the end. We did it. <sighs> I think we're safe now. It's funny, something very similar happened when I first met Aladdin. Oh, there's some monkey, there's Abu. Abu, you're here. Abu points and shouts frantically. Wait, wait, calm down. You want us to follow you? Do you know where Aladdin is? Fabulous, let's go. So I guess we need to go and find 
where Aladdin is. Is Abu actually gonna tell us? We're back over here now, so maybe, maybe not. I mean, the carpet's still so sad. The magic carpet looks excited. Do you wanna go for another race around? Not for now, but uh, that was really cool, and we got our key for that, but there's definitely more to find here in Agrabah and the land of Aladdin. So uh, let's go ahead and go up this way, and we're at Agrabah Palace, where there's the, the king. Hello. One thing I pride myself on, I'm an excellent judge of character. Well, what do you think of me? My daughter has finally chosen a suitor. Isn't that splendid? Okay, so I guess we'll look around this area a little bit and see what we can maybe discover. Because it looks like right over here I can hit this button, just like that, and boom, get a hidden gem revealed. I'll happily grab that one. Because I still need a certain amount if I want to unlock the next thing, which um, I think would be the Lofty Gem? No, that's Spells World. Okay, maybe the Arid Gem? I guess maybe we've already gotten it? Huh, interesting. Activate to get a temporary speed boost. So that's very useful to have. Now I can just sort of speed around whenever I need to, just like this. So maybe it wasn't about the certain amount of gems I needed to get to actually unlock these. It's sort of hard to tell. Okay, gonna speed up here. What do we find? Whoa, there we go. We've collected one out of the five collectibles in this world, and I found whatever that is. Uh, hidden dates, gotcha. I see some more over here I can grab, so I might as well. But with that done, it looks like I can jump over on that side if I were to change to the wild gem. Ready, and boom, I got it, cool and then back over to the uh, arid gem. And I guess we'll go out into the uh, the forest over here, or whatever this is, like the main courtyard of the palace. Oh no, couldn't quite make it. Let's try that again, if I can. I'm sort of stuck. There we go. I need to make a big jump over here, got it. And then maybe over this way, up on this one. There we go, and we're about to vault over this wall which is great. There it is, awesome. You unlock the luminous swiftness ability? I thought I already did. <laughs> okay, um, well I guess I got it for sure now. We're back here in Agrabah, and if I take a look, there's five areas to find. I know where the other two are. They're back outside of Agrabah, I'm pretty certain. So if we can find our way out, out of here then, I'll definitely get to doing that now. So let's plop down this way, just like that. Keep running around super fast. The, the exit's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Feels pretty easy to get lost in such a big city. I've definitely already gone into a big circle. Um, hmm. Well, let's take a look at the map. Okay, I think I see. I need to go up here. And this is where Aladdin was. Oh yeah, for sure. That's cool. I'm not seeing, or at least that's where Aladdin would live. I'm not seeing him in here right now, but it's okay. Lots of stuff around you. I'm not seeing the hidden treasure or anything like that, so I'll leave it for later. We'll hop up this way and then just back down, just like that. See, out of Agrabah, we have this giant lion statue thing. I do remember this from the movie. Pretty crazy. They did a really good job at like building it, too. It looks awesome. Ooh, let's get that there. I need the uh, mystery gem again. Hit that, and did that work? Doesn't seem like I might need to get a little bit closer. No, it's still not working. Oh, maybe it's not the thing I think it is. Maybe it's a, a deep gem where I have to break this open? No, huh, okay. Well, I'll leave it be for now then. We got other things we can do anyways. Yeah, it's telling me about this, which, oh, maybe I have to hit more than one of them. Whoa, okay. Let's try hitting that one too. Whoa, there we go, the hidden gems appeared. So let's grab those and head into this giant lion's mouth. Or tiger or whatever it's supposed to be. And I'll also grab those hidden dates. I just want the arid gem so we can move a little bit faster. And this is a pretty spooky cave. The Cave of Wonders. All right. I wonder if we'll find, uh, was it Jafar, I think, down here? Maybe. Keeps going down this way, just a little bit more. Whoa, look at all the gold down here. This is amazing. Unimaginable treasures in the Cave of Wonders. 
but maybe there's even more. Back this way. Whoa, look at this. Something up there to grab. Let's go check it out. Okay, getting up here a little bit. Takes a while to jump up, but we'll do it. And at the very tippity top, we have found ourselves the magic genie lamp. Whoa, <laughs> so cool. I don't see the genie around here, unfortunately. I can't like rub it to open it or anything. That'd be so cool though. Okay, so we'll head back down. And I think we'll check out the last area, which should be that little oasis, jungly kind of area. Okay, so way over on the other side of Agrabah, something's going on here. Oh, I see Genie. Okay, I think we might have caught up with our friends over here. Hi. Whoa. All right, they're being very silly. Hi, Jasmine. In the oasis, Aladdin, you're all right? Oh, hey, hey, Jasmine. Yeah, I'm doing. Ouch. Fine. That's right, work it out, Al. It was just a bunch of dates to the head. Dates? What were you doing out here? I I was trying to plan a surprise for you. Who knew climbing a date tree could be so dangerous? Well, I say it's time for a nice all expensive paid trip straight to Agrabah, all aboard the Genie Express, woo woo. Whoa, and we got sent back. Uh, I just got there though. Hi everybody. All right, Um. wow, that merchant really chased after you, huh? I know what that's like. I spent a lot of years scraping for food and, and ducking the palace guards. We got a genie over here. Can I talk to genie? Before you ask, I'm no longer in the wishing business, but lucky for you, I'm in the friend business. Aw. And then over here we have uh, Jasmine. I'm very, very happy for all of us to be back home. You know, I think Carpet has taken a liking to you. Maybe you two could go for another ride? Watch out for those merchants though. Trust me, they're fast. So that was great. <laughs> I think we'll run back over and at least explore the oasis a little bit before we're all done with the Aladdin area. But oh, over here, I found the treasure. How am I getting up there? I guess maybe if I jump on the pots or something? Okay, I got it, there we go. So we've made our way back to the oasis. We don't wanna talk to them again because they will teleport us back. It's a smaller area for sure, but there are some dates to grab here. And then a little hidden treasure right over here. It's the staff. I think it was, I think their name was Jafar, the main bad guy. I can't believe we didn't really see them around here, but uh, Going up here, we have some extra little treasure pieces, a little couple of extra gems. That was really cool, so that means we only have one area left to explore. If we head back to the hub, let's go check it out. With our last key over here, we can open up the final one. It is, of course, going to be Beauty and the Beast. So let's open this up. Do you want to use this portal key to unlock the world of the Beauty and the Beast? Yes, I do. Whoa, we've made it. So it looks like we're talking to these two to start things off. Hi, Gaston. Aha, you're th you there. You look capable. Join me. We're going to storm the castle and slay the hideous beast that lives there so we can rescue the girl who's going to be my wife, the most beautiful Belle. It will be your honor. A mighty honor, I'd say. Yes, Lafo. Very mighty. Meet me at the edge of the village. We'll set out from there. Onward. Yeah, onward. Oh, no. So we can find Gaston outside of the village. Oh, nuts. I hope I don't have to wait around in the snow for long. <laughs> All right, well, good luck with that. I don't think I'll be helping you very much, but here we are at the town. I don't know if this town, yeah, there we go. Village center. So we'll look around a little bit. This is Belle's home, typically, you know, this whole village. Whoa, what is this? We found ourselves a hidden book. Very cool. So we have a lot of little hidden treasures to find, as per usual, but it's cool that we're in the last area. There we go, we got another gem there. Most of these doors I cannot open, but I can at least speed around a little bit, right? There we go. So that was the bookstore. I think that's where Belle worked, right? It's a very peaceful town for the most part. Oh yeah, this is, we can push these blocks around if we have enough strength, which unfortunately, currently, I don't think we do. Uh, what was it gonna say? Collect more lofty gems, yeah, okay. So, can't quite do it yet but hopefully soon we can find more gems. I see one right over here, so I'll grab that one. Oh, and a few more over here for sure. So let me get over this way. I do also see a hidden treasure, I think, way over in that direction. But this might be a whole different area. Sort of hard to tell. Boom, got it. So but there's one out of the five of them, and who are you? This is Maurice. I think this might be, is this Spell's father? Oh, oh no, how on earth did that happen? I'm about ready to give up on this hunk of junk. I'll never get this bone at a contraption to work. What happened? What, what are you talking about? Maybe something inside of here? I'm not quite sure. I mean, unless they meant like the water mill. Huh. 
Interesting. Yeah, I think this might be what they're talking about. The little watermelon might be giving them issues. But I will grab this gem, our 10th one. And we'll keep exploring around a little bit. I'll speed boost. And there's Gaston at the outside of the village. Hey there. We can't leave just yet. First, I must take care of old Maurice. You go ahead and scout for us. And then soon I'll have Belle for my wife. Make no mistake. All right. Oh, nuts. I hope I don't have to wait around in the snow for long. Okay, so we can find Belle in the castle, which if we take a look at the map, seems to be somewhere off in this direction. So we'll definitely do that, but I got a couple of red gems to find first. So I will get up and grab that one over here. And I think the other one is, yeah, over on that side. Come on, run, run, run. It's gonna disappear soon. I gotta get it quick. Did I get it? I don't know. Oh well. That's okay. Was there more over here? Is this more part of the village center? Because this looks like more farmland over in this direction. Guess we'll see in just a moment. There is another gem to find right over here. And at least another little hidden treasure, which would usually insinuate that this is a different area. There we go. I got it. And it's still thinking that I've only found one of the four explorable areas. So this one, the village farms, now I found it. This one only has four explorable areas opposed to five or six that they normally have though. So I might have something to do with it. Anyways, I'll speed boost back over here and I already see another little button to press. So why don't we try for that? I'll go like this, mystery gem, and boom. And there we go, got myself a hidden gem. Very nice. So back over to speed boosting so that we can make our way over to Belle as soon as possible. Where was she at again? Not this way. I mean, maybe this lead that way. I wish I could see the full map. That'd be very useful. Okay, grab that as we're zooming around. And I think we're starting to get somewhere. Yeah, okay, this was sort of more the, the scenic, scenic route, but if it works, it works. We're in the forest hills now. Whoa, and there's the big castle. Okay, so we're almost there. Just gotta get a little bit closer. Gotta grab all these too, just so that I can unlock the uh, the final ability that we're waiting for. But whoa, way over here, we've entered the big castle. This thing is huge. Oh, and it started to rain too, so spooky. I'll grab some more gems. Don't fall off the bridge though, gotta be careful. And there's another one of these hidden little mystery buttons. So I'll do that. And I got another gem for it, great. Okay, so back over to the arid gem. We've entered the beast's castle. No sign of the beast just yet, but let's be careful around here because you never know. Oh, hey, we got you two. We got Lumiere. <gasps> do my eyes deceive me or do we have a guest? Oh, you must be soaked to the bone. Please, please come in. Lumiere, what are you doing? We can't let them go back out there. Please, you must stay, be our guest. No, 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 the master won't like this at all. Oh, Cogsworth, have a heart, of course they are welcome here. Now let us introduce you to our other esteemed guest, Mademoiselle Belle, she is just over there. Okay, so we'll go say hi to Belle in a moment. Are you familiar with the style of this castle? It's an example of the late neoclassic Baroque period. And as I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. <laughs> All right, well that was a good joke. There's more talking appliances over here. Hi Belle, oh hello, it's very nice to meet you. Are you a guest here as well? Oh. I see, Gaston has sent you to rescue me, has he? <sighs> of course, he'd never ask me what I, or he'd never ask me what I want. Well, you can tell him I'm not in any danger. Then, though I doubt he'd listen. Pardon me, Belle, I don't think we can finish your surprise dinner in time. My ideas may have been a bit grand. We would need more help in the kitchen. Oh, and do we have another guest? Yes, I hope they join us. Oh, but you're right, it, it's, it is getting awfully late. Hmm. I think I have an idea. What if I help as well? I've read through the recipe book after all. Oh, and perhaps you could help us too. We could really use another pair of hands, or hooves. I could really, I could read out the instructions while you help with the preparations. Would you like to help us cook a surprise meal for the beast? Sure. Wonderful, let us get started. So Belle will tell you what to cook. In the restaurant little, or little kitchen, I guess. That's nice. Gather ingredients to use to make dishes. So we got apple, cheese, potatoes, spices, meat, wheat, and a pitcher. <laughs> cool. Use ingredient on cooking equipment. And then we'll have a nice meal. Combine on a dinner plate to finish. All right. Let's see how good we are in the kitchen then. 
Well, shall we begin? I think so. So, I need to first grab some spices. And then what else did it say? Sp okay. Recipe for tea. First grab some spices and put it in the pot. Now fill a pitcher with water. Okay, so I grab this. Where's the pot? Um, this pot? Okay. Uh, pitcher. Pick that up. Water. Where's the water at? Water is right here. Then what? And fill the pot. Okay, so I put that over here. Uh, now what? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Um, I get the plate, right? Uh, am I wrong with this? Get some more spice. Let's try this again. Um, and then, oh no, I have tea. Yeah, yeah, okay, I do have tea. I didn't even notice it was in my inventory. There we go. Um, now this recipe calls for apple pie. Okay. Or just pie. First grab an apple and chop it up, and then combine with wheat on the oven. Okay, I can do that. So um, I go over here, pick up the apple, just like that, and I chop it up. Now I have a chopped apple, and then I get wheat, which was right over here. And we're gonna put all of that in the oven, which is right over here. So boom, boom, and boom, I got myself a cut apple pie, or apple pie. Um, There we go. Uh, now this recipe calls for steak. First grab some raw meat and chop it up. Combine the meat and some spices in the oven. Okay, so meat, just like that, chop it up. Then I get some spices. Oh, they're singing. Uh, and then I put all of this in the oven, they said. There we go, we get some cut steak, cool. Um, For some more tea, right? Okay, this time it's just spices in the pot, just like before. Okay, I can do that, I can do that. Boom, just like that, just like this. And then if I go over here, I can go boom, boom. Wait, did that work? I think it did, there we go. Uh. Can I put that in? Why is this not working? There we go, I got the tea. So now with the tea, I just get that back over here. Um, okay, so now they're just gonna ask us to make more of the same stuff. So, it was meat. Where's to me that meat right here? And the spices. Gonna cut that up, and then put both of those over here. Boom, boom, got it. Hope you enjoy it. So it looks like they're, they're calling for soup this time. This one's new. Um, first, grab some spices and put it in the pot. Now fill a pitcher with water and fill the pot. Now grab a potato and chop it up and place it in the pot. Okay, so spices, water. Spices, potato, pitcher. We're running out of time though. I don't think I'll be able to do it. Oh no. Uh, oh, we were out out, dare I say. That was magical, Mademoiselle Belle. It was rather fun. Oh, she's got her dress on now. And we must thank our new friend for their help. I don't think we could have done it without you. Now, it's time for dinner, but if you'd like to help us practice these recipes again, just let us know. Perhaps we can become expert chefs. Grr, what is all this? And what are they doing here, Belle? It's all right, there's no need to worry. Our new friend helped us prepare this feast for you. A feast? F for me? Yes, I wanted to thank you for helping me escape from those wolves. It was my pleasure. I, I was worried about how to invite you to dinner. Well, I graciously accept. Shall we eat? Okay, that's so nice. So we were able to help them cook up a meal here and we can talk to everybody while they enjoy it. Hi, this is the beast of course. Can I talk to you? There we go. I want to do something special for Belle. I've never felt this way about anyone before. Oh, that's so cute. Are you familiar with the style of this castle? Yes, we are, because you told us before. You came from the village, didn't you? Have you met my father, Maurice? He's a brilliant inventor. I did. Uh, I bet you'd like a nice spot of tea. It'll warm up in no time. And then Chip, aw, hey, wanna see me do a trick? Yes, I do, you're so cute. All right, let's go ahead and grab this one. So we've explored all four areas here too, so I sold the potato in my inventory, <laughs> but there's not much more I can do with that. So yeah, we've really explored a lot of stuff here. I might poke around the castle a little bit more just to see what else there is, but this was so cool. I definitely wanna try to get enough so that we can unlock this. Do we have it now? Oh, I think I do, I have the new ability. So we'll have to go back to the village to use it, I think, but I'm glad that we unlocked it. So if I go up here, what do we have? Uh, maybe at the very tippity top of the castle? Something cool? I'm gonna find out at some point or another. Okay, here we go. Whoa, look at it up here. We get ourselves another treasure and another one of the books. All right, cool. Oh yeah, and here's one of the boxes. So I'll try pushing it here and just see, sort of seeing what it does. So I'm supposed to be able to do I not have enough for it to work yet? Oh no, no, it's working, it's working. The box is being pushed over. And I guess we could push that over to there. It's a little bit of a active effort to get that done. Um, 
Come on, come on. I can't push it anymore. <laughs> okay, well as you can see, you can push the box around to get to different things and get some different treasures for it, which is pretty cool, I guess. Oh yeah, I guess anywhere with the, the, the floor is like it is here. I see. I think that's the idea, maybe. It's sort of hard to move around in some spots, but I think you get what we can do here. So that was all six of the areas explored. We do have another portal key, but I don't know where this one goes to. I guess we can talk to um, you again. I've never been too far through the dream portals myself. I just like it here too much, but many adventurers have come and told me that they're wondrous. So is there anything we can use this last key for? I'm not quite sure. Back so soon, I'm sure there's more to explore for you. I mean, we found a bunch of different things in these different areas, but if that's it, then we definitely had a great time. It looks like there's more we can explore around here, like this mystery thing. Page for Beauty and the Beast, interactive to change the page. Huh, here we go. Oh, this will tell us like everything we found. Okay, yeah, I see it now. That's pretty cool. So if we were missing anything, this is a record book of dreams. It will automatically journal all of your information. And there's even more gems to find just out around here. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, well that is so cool. It has been a blast exploring through the world of different Disney films, and I definitely enjoyed it. There is another Minecraft Disney DLC that is about exploring the Magic Kingdom, the actual real life Disney World resort kind of thing. Um, maybe you guys would want to see that. If you do, definitely let me know. But for right now, I think that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Minecraft Fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.